Hello everyone, this is Nelson from the College Panda, and this video will actually be part B to the third video in the series on how to use a TI-84 calculator for the SAT. Now why is there a part B? Simply because I forgot to mention something that I wanted to talk about in the last video, which is function transformations and how graphing can help you answer those types of questions. So let's imagine that we have a function f of x equals x squared minus 3 and g of x, which is x minus 2 squared minus 3. And as you may know from math class, this function here is actually translated two units to the right of f of x. But if you didn't know that, and the SAT might ask you this, what you can do is simply just plot the two. So my first equation will be x squared minus 3, and my second equation will be the x minus 2 squared minus 3, which is g of x. And when I graph these, I should see two parabolas. And so what I can do is sort of estimate where g of x is in relation to f of x. The one on the left here is f of x. And how do I know that? Because when I press this button here, trace, my cursor will actually indicate that I'm on the graph on the left. And up here in the corner, it says y1 equals x squared minus 3. So that's how I know the graph on the left is f of x. And if I want to move my cursor to the next graph over here, up in the corner it says y2 equals x minus 2 squared minus 3. So that's how I know it's g of x. And what I can actually do is just estimate how it's been translated from the original function. So if I look at the vertex, it's about x equals 2. And if I want to go to f of x, the vertex is around x equals 0. And of course, that is a translation of two units. Now, of course, this was a very simple example, but you can easily see how this might help you for more complicated functions and comparing how one has been translated from another, you know, vertical shifts, horizontal shifts, uh, that sort of thing. So hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.